looking at for Mullen. This is going to be an important battle going into next week between the Bulls and the Shorts. Yes, an important battle indeed as the EV sector is hot and is heating up with all the latest media coverage. Strategists in the auto industry expect EV sales to reach 54% by 2030 and 66% by 2032. And let's not forget the Inflation Reduction Act that's going to be providing billions of dollars in funding to startup battery plants for final assembly manufacturing plants for these electric vehicles, then including tax credits for qualifying electric vehicles as well. Also released on media yesterday, President Biden unveils push to send electric car sales into overdrive. After more than a year of offering incentives for industries to invest in clean energy, the Biden administration on Wednesday announced that it called the most ambitious auto pollution rules in history with the aim of accelerating automakers to shift to electric vehicles. The standards could result in battery powered cars and trucks making up to two thirds of new light vehicle sales by 2032. Let's look at the charts because I want you guys to know my thoughts and opinions on Mullen Automotive's price action recently. We all know that 10 cents is a very critical level, last resort level, and it's been holding strong. Hence the reason you see the rise here after the shorts have cracked it a few times. And then pre-market Mullen Automotive was green, not by a lot, but still was green. Then at open, I don't know what kind of glitch that is but mullen was at 11.30 per share before dropping down to a low of 10.30 then the stock pretty much traded sideways the rest of the day make it seem like no one is buying this stock and that momentum is dried out but what i want you guys to understand is that the off exchange volume the total volume going off exchange for mullen automotive was over 71 percent today meaning that out of 136 million total shares traded, 97 million of that did not even hit the lit exchange, which means Mullen was only operating today off of 39 million shares traded. Now let's look at the chart. This is 71% off exchange volume for Mullen. Look at the spike. This is the most off exchange volume Mullen has had since August of last year. And that is when Mullen got up to around 80 something percent off exchange volume. And that is initially when Mullen Automotive was pushed under a dollar per share. Now me personally, I would question as to why they even need almost 72% total volume of a 10 cent stock, what they call a scam stock. Why would they need that much volume not hitting the lit exchange? Now, I think the obvious objective today for the shorts and market makers was to keep Mullen Automotive under 11 cents today because, you know, as the stock being so low, each cent going up or down is very critical. And I think short sellers seeing that momentum from retail investors coming off of that 10 cent level, that is exactly what they want to steal because dark That's pool trading is supposed to be for institutional investors to trade in large blocks and not affect the lit exchange. It's supposed to account for up to 40% of the market, but you see stocks such as Muller Automotive trading 72% of its total volume off exchange. And that is because of a non-regulating fraud of an SEC that allows retail orders to be rerouted off exchange where shorts can take control. I'm gonna be honest with you, Muller Automotive could have very well pushed through 12 cents today had not 66% of its total volume going off exchange as soon as the market opened. Although the stock is down today, it is not out. I just think the shorts and market makers are postponing a technical move for Mullen stock that is due. And Mullen also has a catalyst coming on Monday that we're gonna go over. But first, let's check out this hit piece article from Investor Place that came out yesterday. They say three EV penny stocks that are better buys than Mullen. Investors should pass Mullen by and shift their focus to these three EV alternatives. Let's see what they're talking about. They have a rival. This EV startup recently took the necessary steps to stay on the NASDAQ. 
Arrival just did a one for 50 reverse stock split. Out of every 50 shares you have, you get one share. Then they say Tritium DCFC. This EV charging company is expanding into lucrative new markets. Well, so is Mullen Automotive. Then they say Go EV or Canoe. This electric van maker is scaling operations and raising the cash it needs. Mullen has been raising cash as well. Why would they even compare these companies to Mullen? And back at the top, they say Mullen gets plenty of attention, but that doesn't make it a good buy. That's all they say. This Mullen gets a lot of attention. And usually some of these FUD articles that come out on stocks such as Mullen Automotive, they'll put it out right before Mullen is due for a technical move. And then that's when investors will recap back and be like, oh, I thought you said not to invest in Mullen. That's why you do your own due diligence, have your conviction in whatever stock you choose to invest in. And just know that there are gonna be articles like this to try to get you out of a stock before a move is due. What's coming on Monday, you might ask? Well, Monday is April 17th and big money is starting to flow in. Part of Mullen's deal with Aquitas Capital Mullen will generate around $90 million of financing for Mullen payable on April 17th, which is Monday. And the other one was May 15th. The agreement has been since modified again to include another $20 million in promissory notes, which could retroactively help us reach the $110 million. So this is why the company recently put out a press release saying that $110 million was secured and then $45 million is payable by Monday, April 17th. So let's take another look at the charts. You can see down here on the RSI, it has been teetering just out of this oversold zone. And then on here on the TTM squeeze, you can see that it wants to go green. When the TTM squeeze crosses over in the green, it indicates a sharp rise in the price in which Mullen has been trying to do. The price suppression has been keeping this RSI teeter-tottering in this zone. And again, the last time Mullen Animals RSI broke out of this oversold zone strongly was back here in October and we had a run from 21 cents to about 60 cents. Over here on the four hour chart, I told you guys I wanted to see Mullen push above 12 cents and close above it for the week. It may or may not happen. Short saw momentum coming off of this 10 cent level. And then they sent 70% of Mullen's total off exchange volume into the dark pool where they could short the stock more easily. TM squeeze is still in the green. The RSI is slightly pulled down, but it can still curl up. And back over on the daily chart, I think shorts are definitely trying to postpone this technical move to a later date or until it's interrupted by some news announced by the company. Let me know what you guys think about any information covered. Subscribe if you're new. Stay charged up out there. Don't feed the fear and I'll catch you on the next one. Go. Go. Ooh, go.